Good morning, everybody. Uh, I don't know what to say. It was uh, quite a strange turn of events uh, last night. Um, and uh, But life goes on. I w I've been thinking all morning about um, what I could say. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, really an optimist uh, by nature. And I don't like to borrow trouble from the future. Um, I don't like to worry about uh, things that haven't happened yet. But we now have uh, a Republican president. We have a Republican Senate. We have a Republican House. Uh, we have a lot of state legislatures that are Republican. This is an opportunity uh, to take action for those of us who are uh, in the other camp. Um, I think that there's a complacency that comes around that can be replaced by action. And that's sort of, you know, what I'm, I'm here to say. So in my, in my life, uh, Reagan uh, and the Bushes were elected. Um, and uh, in my life, uh, Clinton, uh, Carter, uh, and Obama uh, were elected. Uh, and they have all moved the needle in, uh, in lots of different ways. Um, <clears throat> my hope is that uh, many of the things that our uh, president-elect said during the campaign, uh, he won't do because he's proven <laughs> to not be a completely <laughs> uh, trustworthy person over and over. Um, so that's, that's a little bit of a consolation. Uh, I think that the another consolation for me is that the uh, I think the 2016 uh, to 2020 White House is the uh, booby prize of the century. Uh, so he won that. Um, but I think the the most important thing uh, for me, uh, I picked up my son last night. And he was he's got a play coming up. He's got his first sort of really big plays in. Uh, almost Maine at uh, the Culver City High School um, and uh, it's going to be at the Actors Gang Theater uh, on Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday so please join us um, he was not able to do uh, some of his homework uh, he was all freaked out, he said he almost had a panic attack before he got on stage um, and um, and that's because of uh, paying attention to the election and uh, and what he thought that meant uh, and he was very, very freaked out about that. Um, and what I said to him is that you have to keep moving. You have to keep on doing what you need to do. You have to take care of yourself. Um, and you have to um, stay in action. And what I've said to other friends is, I mean, there are a lot of people who are friends of mine on Facebook, and, and they... They said, I had no idea, you know, that we live in uh, a country that is so uh, sort of xenophobic and, and angry. Um, and that's really, you know, what this is a reaction. This is this, this politically, this is a, 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 a xenophobic uh, reaction. The, um, the thing is, is that if you didn't know that before, <laughs> uh, then now you do. So there you go. Uh, this is the kind of, uh, of populace that we have uh, in this country. About 40% of this pe the people in this country um, don't disagree with me uh, about politics. They disagree with me about reality. Um, they really, uh, there's a lot of people who disagree with, um, uh, who have a di completely different view of what's really going on in the world. And that's disturbing uh, and needs to be addressed. There's a lot of things that I think need to be addressed. And I think that this is sort of a wake-up call for those of us uh, in the, on the left or the middle. And I, I generally stay out of politics, and I'm not going to um, jump in and become a, a super uh, political uh, person. Uh, because I, I sort of believe that you, you can change uh, the world around you um, by your actions um, to the people around you. I also live in, in a city um, and uh, I, I am in contact with all kinds of different people and I love all kinds of different people. Um, and uh, I think that people are very scared. Uh, a lot of people are very scared of different people and that's, that's disturbing. So 
to bring to bring it around to to uh, if I have a point this morning, I I really was trying to come up with something brilliant to say, uh, but it really is do not despair. If your candidate did not win last night, and based on uh, the people that I know uh, and the people who are probably going to show up, like Tor Porthos, um, and and watch me, uh, your candidate probably did not win last night to your to your shock. Um, and so, uh, if your candidate did not win last night, um, don't despair. Do not despair. Take this as a call. To action. Be in action about this. I posted on Facebook last night that uh, this is a wake-up call and this is time for us, uh, for, for liberals, for progressives, uh, for moderates, to say, okay, let's pay attention now. Let's pay attention not to 2020. Let's pay attention to 2018. Let's pay attention to the local races. Let's pay attention to the state legislature. Let's do stuff. Let's engage, as Emily Batlin just said. Let's get out the vote next time. Let's let people know that every vote makes a difference. And that's, I mean, that's really what happened, is that uh, people voted uh, and made a difference. People who uh, disagreed with the direction of this country. Interestingly enough is that People apparently voted against um, Hillary Clinton uh, more than for Donald Trump, uh, which I think was is based on misinformation, as far as I can tell. Very, it's very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. But Reagan won, <clears throat> Bush and Bush won, uh, and uh, we survived. I really hope we can survive this. I, I think we will. And if we don't, we don't have to worry about it. So, listen. Don't despair. Don't despair. Don't despair. Don't despair. Move forward. Move forward. Take action. I think, and I think the final thing is the rhetoric of uh, those people, there's something wrong with those people, needs to change. We disagree. And the, the way to get someone who disagrees with you to agree with you is not to tell them that they're terrible, purple people. It's to try and find common ground. Now, one of the biggest problems that I have become aware of in this country is that we don't disagree over the right approach to our problems. We disagree on what our problems are are and what is real. And that, I think, is it really is a, there's been an ongoing um, effort, a purposeful effort to confuse uh, issues by uh, creating fake problems, uh, by, by, by disseminating fake information. Uh, and I think it, it really needs to, something needs to be done about that more than almost anything else. Um, and I don't know what to do about that, but I think that's going to be sort of my underlying mission, is to try and, uh, and figure out a way to, to uh, educate people and, and, um, and get people on the same page so we can, so we can sort of agree on, on basic facts. I think the distrust of, of science and, and facts in this country is a, is, a, is a real serious problem. Now, listen, I have to go. This is, uh, you know, we want to keep, I want you to, you know, don't despair if your candidate didn't win. Keep in action. Keep moving. Uh, keep going. And take, take new action. Decide to take back uh, the uh, House of Representatives. Decide to take back the Senate. Decide to take back the White House. Let's do it. We can do it. We can do it. Okay, so finally I have to say that yesterday uh, I had a trivia question, and the trivia question was, what president um, was the first to serve on the Supreme Court after he was president? And Jeff Stock just joined to, to, to accept my apology. He said, Taft, I thought, I was under the impression that John Quincy Adams was on the Supreme Court after he was president, and he wasn't. Taft was. 
Jeff Stock was right. I was wrong. So that's the answer to the trivia question. Uh, I believe that uh, Ross Pro got the most uh, votes of a third-party candidate, which was my second. Uh, I did not look that up. I was too busy uh, watching TV and freaking out last night. Um, so I don't have a trivia question for this morning because I was just so confused about what I was going to say. I don't know if I said anything um, uh, that's really coherent or helpful, except this. Uh, don't despair. Don't despair. Don't give up. Don't give up. This is a great country. This is a great country, and it will remain a great country. I believe strongly that we've been heading in the right direction for years of a more multicultural, more accepting uh, country. And I think that part of the reaction is that a large portion of the country felt that that was not okay. Um, and they felt left out, and they, they voted for somebody who they thought, was, they thought of as a Molotov cocktail or a grenade to, to send to Washington. Not a responsible thing to do. <laughs> Not a smart thing to do. I really hope that um, President Trump is not as dangerous as it sounds. I really hope that. And I, I'm going to live as if it is. I'm not going to leave the country um, unless, you know, my uncle wants me to say, hey, come to move to New Zealand. New Zealand seems like a really nice place. But uh, I'm not going to move uh, because of the political process here. I believe in inclusiveness. I believe in the argument. I believe in I believe in this country. I believe in the ideals of this country. So uh, that's that's uh, that's what I believe in. I believe that you know we can work through things, and uh, we can work through through things together. I believe that, and I believe that if we all work together or, or you know to take action, um, we can affect political change. We can do it. So go out and do it. I won't. <laughs> I'm not moving. I'm really sorry I don't have a trivia question for t today um, because I think we need a little distraction. Have a wonderful day. Go out and uh, knock them dead. Ha you know, do, be in action. Don't be in despair. Be in action. If you are bummed out, uh, exercise. <laughs> don't dwell on uh, how bad things might get because they haven't gotten bad yet. Okay? They haven't gotten bad yet. They, the election was bad, but they have, things haven't, haven't happened yet. Um, just be prepared to protest if they do. Be prepared to take to the streets. Be prepared to, more importantly, politically organize. That's if you disagree with the result. If you agree with the result, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. That seems crazy to me. I don't know. It seems nuts. That seems like the nuttiest thing I've ever seen. But, um... You know, I don't know why I would think that's nuts. Conservatism means I don't like change. And the world is changing. So you're voting against change. You're voting against the inevitable. You're voting against the glacier. If your village is in the path of the glacier and you think you can vote against the glacier, you vote against the glacier, I guess. I mean, that's really, I think, what's going on. So, <sighs> trying to be as uh, optimistic as possible. Um, thanks, everybody who joined today. Uh, check out my blog at uh, www.3simplesteps.com uh, slash blog. <coughs> Tune in tomorrow for more nuggets of wisdom. Stay in action. Keep moving. Have a wonderful day. Bye.